GMC medium duty trucks, designed and engineered for getting the job done, for construction, city pickup and delivery, on farms and ranches, emergency vehicles, an entire array of applications. With all the work that goes into component selection, weight distribution, choosing between diesel and gasoline, or trying to sort out transmission selection, one important feature all too often has become something of a given, the truck's braking system. It requires a continuing cycle of refinement and improvement to address the challenge of properly balanced power, fuel efficiency, and overall performance for today's medium-duty truck customers. Manufacturing a complete medium-duty lineup means advanced equipment and advanced thinking must continually be entered into the product plan. The latest methods and materials must be used to meet the need for tough, dependable, hard-working GMC trucks. Now, General Motors is the only manufacturer to offer hydraulic disc brakes as standard. Hydraulic disc brakes are standard on models with 7, 9, and 12,000 pound front axles, and 17,500, 19,000, and 22,000 pound rear axles. This new hydraulic disc brake system is specifically designed for medium duty GVWs. Does this add to your competitive factors? You bet. And for three important reasons you should keep in mind when working with customers. One, when compared with conventional drum brakes, disc brakes are easier to maintain. In most instances, wheel bearings and seals can be left untouched when changing linings. Reliable automatic adjustment eliminates that maintenance step altogether. Two, costs are reduced. Ease of maintenance and service reduces labor time and related operating expense. Fewer parts cut inventory costs for owners who do their own maintenance. Three, high performance standards. The hydraulic disc brake system provides high standards of overall vehicle performance, including impressive stopping distances, fade resistance, and wet recovery characteristics. Those are the three key customer features that you should make clear during a selling presentation. To give you a more thorough base of selling information, let's see a comparison of the basic operation of drum and disc type brakes. A typical drum brake assembly consists of two brake shoes, two wheel cylinders, mounted between the shoes at the top and bottom, and an adjusting mechanism fitted to each shoe at the center. The wheel cylinders are mounted to a backing plate, and the shoes are forced against the wheel cylinder abutment points by return springs. For stability and installation purposes, the shoes are retained against the backing plate by retainer springs. A brake hub and drum assembly fits over the shoe assembly and is secured to the axle riding on bearings, allowing it to rotate around the shoe assembly. The tire and wheel are fastened to the hub assembly. When the brakes are applied, the wheel cylinders push the shoes outward to contact the inner drum surface slowing the vehicle. The hydraulic disc brake assembly, on the other hand, has a torque plate mounted to the axle flange. Mounted on the torque plate are the actuating pistons, caliper housing, and rotor. Similar to the hub and drum type, the hub and rotor is secured to the axle and rotates on bearings. When the brakes are applied, Hydraulic pressure is applied to the actuating pistons inside the caliper, which pushes the inside disc pad outward and the caliper assembly inward, applying a clamping force to the rotor, in turn, slowing the vehicle. Those are the basic design differences. So, let's compare hardware to make a couple of valuable points. Here is a typical drum brake assembly not including mounting hardware, over 30 parts. Over here, a hydraulic disc brake assembly. Not counting mounting hardware, it has 15 components. Less than one half the number used in the drum brake assembly. That's fewer parts to replace when servicing, 
and fewer parts to maintain an inventory. A double value feature. Let's talk about maintenance. To check lining wear on a vehicle with drum brakes, the vehicle must be raised, the tire and wheel removed, and the drum, hub, and bearings removed. Adjustment required is manual in many cases. Hydraulic disc brakes have a reliable automatic adjustment feature, and lining inspection can be done quickly without disassembly, and when lining replacement is necessary, the pads are easy to replace. Only the tire and wheel need to be removed. Wheel bearings and seals do not have to be opened during service. The basic design technology of disc brakes has been tested with an excellent history of in-service use on passenger cars and light-duty trucks. The new medium-duty design has been put through the paces at GM's Milford, Michigan and Mesa, Arizona Proving Ground and in-service fleet testing to help assure the high quality and reliability standards inherent in GM products. The new hydraulic disc brake system presents a tremendous value story for the highly competitive medium-duty truck market. And General Motors is the only manufacturer to offer hydraulic disc brakes as standard, which makes it a key to the medium-duty product presentation. Remember, keep the three main value points in mind. Ease of maintenance and service, reduced costs in labor and inventory expenses, and impressive overall performance, braking capability, fade resistance, and wet recovery characteristics. A full package of brake value from General Motors, backed with a value-packed lineup of tough work trucks designed to make GMC an industry leader.